Tonight, tributes are pouring in for Senator Dianne Feinstein. She died last night at 90 years old. In recent months, there was growing concern over her health and her ability to govern, but she voted on the Senate floor hours before her death. And as the statement from her office read, Feinstein never backed away from a fight. I do have a point of view. Dianne Feinstein was a trailblazer. I have found that being a woman uh, isn't a disadvantage. Whose career was forged by triumph and tragedy. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. She tried to save the life of Harvey Milk when he was assassinated in 1978 and then became the first female mayor of San Francisco. Walter Mondale considered her as a running mate in 1984. And I view that as a major opening of a door. In 1992, she became California's first female senator and introduced legislation that effectively banned assault weapons for a decade. Military-style assault weapons have no place in our society. She fought again for that ban after it expired in 2004. I'm not a sixth grader. Senator, I've been on this committee for 20 years. She was also the first chairwoman of the Intelligence Committee, challenging the CIA on its interrogation techniques. The CIA's actions a decade ago are a stain on our value and on our history. And in recent years was the champion of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford and her allegations against now Justice Brett Kavanaugh. And never before have we had a nominee facing allegations of sexual assault. Tonight, flags are at half-staff across Washington in honor of the longest-serving female senator. Whether we like it or not, we are our sister's keeper. We do open doors for one another. And she did open doors. Senator Feinstein was 90 years old. And now California's Governor Gavin Newsom will appoint someone to finish her term.